so welcome to my room. This way, though. There's a couple kids to dodge. Here we go. What's up, fellas and polar ups? I'm Graham. I'm Tommy. And I'm John, filling in for Josh. <laughs> it's fall break, and I just got the room to myself. Time for some redecorating and a uh, hill room 316 tour. Uh, you're finally going to get a tour. I didn't want to annoy my roommates. I'm trying to my best to be a good roommate. Right now, I'm kind of the bad roommate because my alarm went off at 5 31 morning for about 30 seconds before I woke up and stopped it. So welcome to my room, the humble room of 316. Uh, we actually, or my roommates picked it because one of them's name is John, so John 316. Uh, that's not the dad joke of the video. The dad joke is so much better. So this is my closet, uh, or shelf where I keep my clothes. I've got pretty much all my clothes hanging there. I got a little bar extension at the bottom that uh, I hang some pants from sometimes. And then of course at the very bottom I have my shoes uh, stacked up. And up top, I keep some of my towels and bath cloths and extra stuff. There's a nice uh, shelf space up top for my guitar. We're about to head on a trail and try to survive. We're here, and there's a lot of big rocks, so we're going up them. This is pretty awesome. I'm excited. Tommy convinced me to come. Uh, I've heard the quintessential freshman trail is Coal Mountain, just like a 20-minute hike. This is awesome. It's like a 30 minute hike up here and these just incredible rocks. Gollum impersonation. Any Gollum line for us? What's taters, precious? What's taters? Nice and cool. The rock and pool, so nice and cool. <laughs> the pond so juicy, sweet. Our only wish is to catch a fish. So good to eat up. <laughs> then uh, each hill room has a sink. So uh, that's what it looks like. Very small, it's not very high pressure. It's most of the time we use the sink in the main bathroom. This is nice at night. Uh, if you just can't brush your teeth or something, it's good. So on the sink, you'll see this little blue card and it is uh, every roommate's duty to do something. So for me, a vacuum, uh, John takes out the trash and then cleans the sink. And if we don't do those, then we'll get a green slip. Uh, every Wednesday they do room checks. And if we get a green slip, then you know we gotta work on it or get fined. But uh, my room has been pretty clean. The only green slip we got was saying, uh, put something on the floor, you're too clean. So I think we're pretty good. I've got some great roommates. Over here is my roommate stuff. Uh, they keep it pretty well organized. Uh, each room is a little bit different, but they mostly have this set up if you're in the hill. Uh, added these curtains to our room. Also a few little decorations on the wall, just kind of you know make it nice. Some rooms go all out, some don't. I've already explained my computer setup in the past a past video. So every morning I'll move the keyboard and mouse, uh, just do my reading so I actually have a desk too. Um, John keeps his desk super clean. I've got it covered with pillows right now because it's fall break and I'm you know, changing the sheets on my bed. Uh, I've learned some people don't do that very often. I think some people haven't changed their sheets yet at all and that's kind of scary. Uh, we've got two rugs, very nice rugs. You now they're as cheap as you can get, but they add a little add a little cushion to make it a little homier. Oh, I can tell that. Could you send that one to the camera, please? Do you want to do it to this one? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. You know, when I'm in Texas, you know, they're all struggling with sex. Uh, of course, when I'm from Alaska, we're the largest state in the Union. They're number two. But these Texans, when they get to thinking they're big shots, I tell them, I'll go back to Alaska. We'll divide it into two states, and then Texas will be the third one. <laughs> One thing my desk does not have is a chair. I've intentionally uh, tried to get rid of it because sitting is something you to do too much in college. So I have a knee pad, a saddle chair, and sometimes I'll just squat. But my actual chair is under this bed, crammed in that back corner because you can't move the furniture out or you'll have to pay for it at the end of the semester. This here is our humble trash can that John takes out uh, very regularly. Does a good job of it. Some rooms their trash cans are piled high, but uh, we, we do a good job keeping it in check. So we're roller skating. It's been pretty fun. There's a couple kids to dodge. Jonah and Josh are picking it up pretty well for ever never done it before. I gotta get used to this. Oh, so you're getting it. What was your favorite part, people? My favorite. Oh,
falling on my back. My favorite part was staying better than everyone else, which I definitely did. It's uh, pretty fun, not too far away from Liberty. Uh, it was kind of expensive, but it also includes unlimited laser tag, which is why I'm here. So that is the tour of my hill room for freshman year. It's a very nice place. The hill has a really good community. These rooms may not be as nice as uh, some of the other places like Commons, but they are filled with a lot of great people. It's a lot of good community. Uh, we call it the hill circle. People just come into a room, form a circle, and start talking. Or you can play a game on the floor, just to leave your door open and see who wanders in and wants to cook macaroni late at night. So it's a good way to meet people. I'm loving it. I've heard it's hard to get in for your later years. so. If I can be back next year, I'll definitely be back here. But if it doesn't work out, then uh, you'll get a tour of another spot on campus. So on 22.3, there is a thing called John L. But to outsiders, it's kind of hard to explain. So we brought in uh, uh, an the outsider. The resident outsider. An outsider himself That's to explain me. it. So explain John yeah, L. Me too. Yeah, he's also an outsider. But anyway, so John L., like this door, is they take parts of the name and erase it for whatever reason. And then so the name, says John, Joan, L, like the letter L. So all the names on all the doors are exactly the same. And now people are starting to do it in the group me. It's getting out of hand. You just see John L like this, John L like that. So you got J, O, N, L, John, L, John, L. Heading back from a late night snack at North, and uh, that leads straight to a pro tip of the day or of the night. And that is when you are uh, at Subco at nine and the register shuts down everything at North closes and you can't get any food and you're still hungry, go over to Dunkin' Donuts. And at Dunkin', they give away the leftover donuts for free. We're right at nine. Not sure if they do that every night, but uh, definitely check it out. 